Yes, it's my delight to welcome all of you to today's class. As you can see, what we shall be discussing is overview of teaching methods. Overview of teaching methods. As always, this is also going to be a very short class. We're not going to take more than 10 minutes or so of your time. What are the learning objectives? By the end of this class, you should be able to explain the term teaching methods. You should be able to differentiate among teaching method, teaching strategy, and teaching technique. These three terminologies should be able to clearly differentiate among them. Likewise, you should be able to outline the differences between conventional teaching methods and innovative teaching methods. Let's start. What is teaching method? When we talk about teaching methods, we are talking about the specific ways that teachers design and deliver instruction to help students achieve the learning objectives. We are talking about what the teacher does in order to be able to achieve the learning objectives. There are different methods of teaching and different teaching methods are there to cater to different types of learners so that it will be possible for the teacher to accommodate diverse learning needs, learning styles, learning preferences, so that learning can be very enjoyable. Let's take an example in a chemistry lesson. The teacher can use a combination of teaching methods. In a particular class, the teacher may decide to use lecture method to introduce the concept of chemical bonding in chemistry. Maybe next to use an experiment, experiment method to show how different substances react. And of course, can use cooperative learning method to allow students to be able to carry out individualized learning. Now let's differentiate between teaching method, teaching technique, and teaching strategy. These three terminologies are often used interchangeably, but they are not the same. Let's start with a table. This perhaps will help us very well. Teaching method, teaching strategy, teaching technique. When you talk about teaching method, you are referring to the overall way of teaching a topic or teaching a topic. And usually teaching method is general broad. For example, we have a lecture method, demonstration method, experiment method. Within a particular teaching method, the teacher uses strategy. When you talk about strategy, talking about specific plan, approach that the teacher uses to achieve a learning objective within the same or a particular a specific teaching method. So teaching strategy is more specific, more focused. Like questioning within your lecture method or cooperative learning, even within demonstration method, it could be possible. Teaching technique, this now talking about the skill or action to implement a teaching strategy. It's more detailed, it's more precise. And of course, looking at maybe the way you within voice, sorry, within lecture method, the teacher decided to use voice modulation, increases the voice, lowers the voice, whispers, give feedback. All these are various techniques within a teaching strategy of a particular teaching method. Next, let's consider overview of conventional and innovative teaching methods. 
conventional and innovative teaching methods. When you talk about conventional and innovative teaching methods, let's also take a table to summarize this. The approach can be conventional or innovative. What are the basic characteristics? The conventional is teacher-centered, more often concerned about transmission of knowledge through textbooks, standardized tests, lectures. Our innovative teaching approach is student-centered. It involves active learning, more project-based, using integration of technology and collaboration. So that is why it is innovative. The advantages, of course, conventional method, more structured, is clear, has clear objectives, of course, easier to implement. But for innovative teaching methods, it caters for diverse learning styles. It entails engaging the learners to be active participants in the teaching. But disadvantages were well, for the conventional methods, more often than not, the teacher, sorry, the learners are passive. When it comes to innovative, wow, it requires more planning more resources, more training, and flexibility usually required on the part of the teacher. Aside from this, we want to know that there are several forms of conventional and innovative teaching methods. This we shall be talking about in subsequent classes, starting from the conventional teaching method. We're going to talk about a lot of them. So be watched, be prepared, pay attention, look at each method, the characteristics, the advantages, the merit and demerit, the ways in which they are to be used. These are what we're going to devote the subsequent three, four to five classes on. This is the end of our class today. As we said, we are not going to take up to 10 minutes, which we stop too. Thank you very much. See you in our next class.